Hi, this is Dean Cardinal with Worldwide Trekking. Today I'm gonna to talk about acclimatizing on your Everest Base Camp Trek. Some of the concerns that I hear from our guests when they're going to Nepal, the highest mountain range in the world, home to Mount Everest. They're concerned about high altitude and how we acclimatize. Our trek is set up for gentle acclimatization. Problem that people have when they're trekking is they go too fast and they ascend too much in a day and the body can't keep up with that. What happens when you're acclimatizing is your respiratory rate is gonna increase, so you're gonna breathe a little more rapidly. The stroke volume of your heart is gonna be a little greater, so your heart's gonna beat a little bit faster. The thing about the body is it's only gonna compensate for a little while, and then you would feel the effects of high altitude. We land in Luke at 9,000 feet. The first day, we actually trek to a village that's a little lower than the landing strip. Then the second day, we ascend a little higher. So we're gonna do this at a slower pace. After the second day, when we arrive in Namche Bazaar, we're gonna spend two days at that altitude to give our body the chance to adjust to the higher altitudes as we go. Further up the valley, when we get to Farishe, we're gonna spend two days in Farishe, about 14,000 feet, to give our bodies the chance to adjust at that higher altitude. It's really about pacing yourself out, going slowly, um, a lot of hydration, and making sure you're eating well. So each morning, your guide is gonna fill out an extensive chart, just a few questions that takes a couple minutes, um, for each guest. This will be a private one-on-one -on -one conversation. They'll start by, by taking the pulse oximeter reading of your body. It's going to tell me what your heart rate is, and it's also going to tell, tell us the oxygen saturation of your blood. Other things they're going to ask you is, are you taking your Diamox? Did you take it this morning? Do you have a headache or have you had a headache? How does your body feel? Do you have any general aches and pains? Are you eating normally? Are you sleeping normally? And are you going to the bathroom normally? And all these are gonna help your guide understand each individual and how you are personally doing. The common symptoms of, of being at high altitude, probably a little lethargic, dull headache, maybe a, a little bit of nausea. So on our trek, we're gonna safely ascend into altitude, Pay attention to each individual, make sure they're doing okay. We're gonna avoid those more pronounced symptoms of high altitude, extreme dizziness or confusion, vomiting, high altitude pulmonary edema, or high altitude cerebral edema where their brain is swelling against their skull. You know, that's because they've ascended too quickly into altitude. And those can be avoided if we take our time and follow our schedule and manage our ascent into higher altitude. The other thing that's really important is being prepared. Your guide is going to have a number of medications that if you do have a problem at high altitude, they can help you out with some medications. Most importantly, we carry a gamel bag on each one of our trips. And a gamel bag is a full hyperbaric chamber. Um, during our journey, we'll do a demonstration of the gamel bag and how it works. You put somebody in the gamel bag and you zip it closed, and then we pump it up. So basically what the problem is at high altitude is there's lack of pressure in the air. So if we're at 14,000 feet in Farishay, Nepal, and we take the gamel bag out on our rest day and we do a demonstration with the group, we put somebody in the gamel bag, we give them an altitude watch, and we pump that bag up. When we pump that bag up and it gets very hard, it's actually pressurizing the inside of that bag. And when it pressurizes the inside of that bag, it's, it's like descending to a lower altitude. And they show us the altimeter inside of that bag from 14,000 feet, we'll see now they're at 9,000 feet and 8,000 feet. And the most important thing at altitude, if you have high altitude problems, the best thing we can do is descend. So what the bag does is help the body and the person inside of the bag basically feel the effects of descending to a lower altitude. It's very uncommon for us at Worldwide Trekking. We go at a slow pace, we monitor our guests carefully, and we follow a program and a routine that's gonna help our bodies adjust to the high altitude. Don't be too concerned if your first day into Namche Bazaar, you're feeling the effects when you get to 12,000 feet. Once your body adjusts, you're gonna feel the effects less and less as the days go on. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a bit about our process of acclimatization. 
for worldwide trekking. You can do it safely. Listen to your guide. We've got a great program. Learn more by visiting our travel blog or contacting us directly.